Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable and disable parallax scrolling on your Squarespace website. So if you just heard the term parallax scrolling for the first time and you're like, um, what the heck does that mean? Then don't worry, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to give you an example here with this uh, demo site that Squarespace has and you can see the parallax scrolling effect in action as well. So take a look at this header image and look what happens as I scroll down the page. It kind of looks like, you know, one section is overlapping onto another and it's a bit of like a slow reveal as I go down the page, you know, with one transitioning into another with the header images and then the following sections and kind of looks like, you know, one thing is popping in and out of the page. Well, that my friends is parallax scrolling. So even if you didn't know what the term was, you've probably seen it in action on the internet at some point. So there are lots of different pros and cons about parallax scrolling and as well some things to consider from an SEO standpoint before you decide whether or not parallax scrolling is the right thing to use on your website. So if you haven't already, be sure to take a look at the blog post that goes along with this video tutorial because that will walk you through everything you need to know about parallax scrolling. And that way you can make the choice that's right for you, whether or not you choose to include this web design feature on your Squarespace website. So parallax scrolling, I should start off by telling you, is used as a visual effect on headers on any Squarespace template, which is in the Brian family. So this means that not every Squarespace template supports parallax scrolling. So if your site is on a template that is not in the Brian family, then parallax scrolling might not be available to you. So double check that you are in fact using a Squarespace template in the Brian family, um, because once you've established that you are, we can go ahead and enable parallax scrolling. But just remember that when you do set up parallax scrolling, it will be applied to all banners on your site, which means that it's a site-wide feature. And yes, because I know some of you are going to ask, yes, parallax scrolling does in fact work on mobile devices. So you'll still get this cool effect when you're scrolling down the page on your mobile device. So pretty cool. All right, enough talk. Let's get to the good stuff. So now you want to see how to enable and disable parallax scrolling on your site. And I'm going to show you. So you can see here I've created a demo site using the Mercer template, which is the same one that I just showed you here in action. So Mercer template is part of the Brian family, so this is going to work. So to get to the parallax scrolling, we're going to enable this feature in the style editor. So we're going to click here on design. Then we click style editor. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit once it loads. Hold on, my internet's a little bit slow right now but we're gonna scroll down to where we've got the main overlay section. Coming on. Okay, there, there we go. Okay, so further down here, we've got the main overlay section and you see there's this little button that says enable parallax. We can either choose to enable it by clicking it or unselect it and that will disable the enable or sorry, that will disable the parallax scrolling effect. So whether you choose to enable it, click it, disable it, we'll remove it. And then once you're done, you just, all you have to do is click save and that will be applied to your brand new Squarespace website. So as you can see, it's super easy. And if you want to enable or disable parallax scrolling on your Squarespace website, just make sure you're doing it on a template that's part of the Brian family. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. And if you do, feel free to leave any questions and comments down below. And you can also like it, subscribe it. I mean, even share it on social media, do your thing, go wild. Um, you can also visit my website, which is charlotteohara.ca. And on my website, I've got tons more content all about Squarespace, website design and development, tech tips, you know, tools and resources for growing your website and a whole lot more. You can also browse through the different videos that are on my YouTube channel because I've got a whole lot of amazing content there as well. And for those visual learners out there, I'm sure you'll find plenty of stuff to keep you occupied over on my YouTube channel. So thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I'll catch you again soon. Bye now.